Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're looking at some additional issues that I've seen brought up in various comments, replies, and requests, but which I haven't already done videos on. Last time, we talked about some possible reasons why the animal sacrifices of the Old Testament were instituted. And this time, do faithful Christians have glory right now? We know that God glorifies the faithful in heaven. Therefore I endure all things for the sake of the elect, that they also may obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with heavenly glory. 2 Timothy 2.10 in his sight the malignant is brought to nothing, but he glorifieth them that fear the Lord. Psalm 14-15, 4a However, do they have glory here on earth? There are some passages of the Bible that seem to indicate we don't have glory yet. But the God of all grace, who hath called us into his eternal glory in Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a little, will himself perfect you, and confirm you, and establish you. 1 Peter 5.10 For that which is at present momentary in light of our tribulation worketh for us above measure exceedingly an eternal weight of glory. 2 Corinthians 4.17 These verses and others like them seem to indicate that glory is something that needs to be produced, something we're being called to. However, there are also other verses that provide clues to indicate something else. When Christ shall appear, who is your life, then you also shall appear with him in glory. Colossians 3, 4 For I reckon that the sufferings of this time are not worthy to be compared with the glory to come that shall be revealed in us. Romans eight eighteen. Certainly, things can appear by arriving when they weren't previously present, like a police car appearing at the scene of a crime. However, appearing can also refer to something that was previously not visible becoming visible like a man appearing from the concealing shadows in an alley. However, that second verse interests me more, because in describing the glory that is to come, it says it will be revealed in us. Revealed is not a word you use to describe a rival. But if the glory is there already, then what is it? But thou, O Lord, art my protector, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. Psalm 3.3 3. God himself is the glory of the faithful. He lives within us, commanding all the respect proper to him from the heavenly hosts, even though we can't yet see it. And I'm not just referring to the presence of the Holy Spirit within us, though that is certainly important. The reception of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist also leads to God being present within us in an even more noticeable way, a way deserving of glory and reverence. So it seems that we do have glory right now, we simply can't enjoy it as we'd like to, because our eyes haven't been opened to heavenly realities yet. Next, can nature be changed? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.